guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lana and this is Easy Beats where I give you tips on how you can go about everything, registration um, of your company and your business in Nigeria and how you can go about business in Nigeria. So if it's the first time you're watching my video, please watch to the end. I'm sure you're going to gain a thing or two um, here. And then do not forget to subscribe click on the notification bell so that you can get notification whenever i post a video you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and then share with friends for them to understand more how to run business here in nigeria so today i am going to be talking about share capital and the reason i'm talking about shares and share capital is that i've been getting a lot of questions concerning it so i said okay fine let me take out time and actually educate the public on what shares and share capital is actually about so it's going to be like a two-part video this is going to be the first part just talking simply what shares is and share capital and then in the next part i will be talking about transfer of shares here in nigeria increasing share capital as well as um reduction in share capital i would have put everything together in one video but i don't want to bore you with the length of a video so shares what do we mean by shares shares simply means the unit of a company that signifies or defines the interest of a shareholder which now translates to the equivalent or the sum that particular shareholder actually puts in the company so let's say this it's a portion it's a portion of shares or a portion of the company's worth be given to a shareholder for the equivalent of its money and then because of this there are certain liabilities and rights that is being conferred on the shareholder no there are different types or classes of um uh shares there are preference shares ordinary shares redeem shares cumulative shares different types but i don't want to talk about it um each each share has its role each shareholder whatever category you fall under has its role to play in the company but that's all about that's what i want to talk about shares shares is actually the unit of interest that a shareholder has by the sum he or she purchased in a company. Then share capital, share capital is actually the funds that are being raised by a company by issuing these shares to um, persons for cash or for other consideration. So this is what share capital is. Share capital, like what capital is raising of funds. Now the authorized share capital of a company is actually the maximum value that a company can legally issue shares. So when we talk about first subscribers, first subscribers are those people that come together to register or incorporate a company for the first time. Now I had a question um, like two weeks back that was talking about they have they wanted to give portion of their shares to a foreign investor who is interested in investing in, in their business idea. And the question was more of can we give our a percentage of our shares out without us? first incorporating a company and I said you can't give what you do not have because there is no there are no shares without a company it's a company that actually begats shares but now there is a solution to that in the sense that you can bring in the foreign investor as a first subscriber so if you and you have a partner you and your partner decide that okay fine the investor has cash you bring in it as a first subscriber while you and your partner might, who have the brainchild and all the idea and everything, you you share maybe your 1 million capital, your 1 million share capital, 40-40, uh, and the investor, you give him 20%. He now becomes a first subscriber. And know that first subscribers, their names are always written in the memorandum of um, association of the company. So that is that for it. Um, in Nigeria here, the law mandates that um, you are not entitled to just uh, register a company with any share capital. Where you can do that is when your company is actually a small company. But there are specific companies that the law mandates the share capital for the purpose of incorporation, uh, incorporating that company. Okay, let me explain. What I mean is this, when you want to incorporate a company, maybe like you want to incorporate a bureau de change company, you cannot do that with um, 1 million share capital because the law mandates that you should be able to do like bureau de change should be like 35 million um, share capital above because that is actually the value of the company. So your nature and the object of your business actually um, 
prescribes the share capital that you can legally issue in your company. Now, if you're doing um, loan facilities, it's 220,000, 20 million share capital for loan facilities. Like now, this question that they want a foreign investor, a foreign investor, you cannot register a 1 million share capital company. Foreign investors, their company is 10 million. Okay, you might ask, so what's the difference? Why is it like that? The amount you use in registering a 1 million share capital company is totally different from the amount you use in registering a 10 million share capital company here in Nigeria, even at CAC. Because I let me give a certain example. I have I have a friend that they wanted to do loan facilities as a business, he and his partner, and they contacted an accredited agent, and the accredited agent charged them for um the amount you charge for one million share capital um after six months unfortunately the accredited agent um told them he couldn't register the company but did not give them cause cogent reasons why and he just felt that oh he just said no you cannot register loan facilities so they reached out to me and I told them that, see, the issue is this. When you want to register a loan facility, um, loan business in Nigeria, the minimum share capital is 20 million. And you cannot use the same price of 1 million share capital to register 20 million share capital. Some people actually register 20 million share capital, 300,000 and above. Some 250 and above. The amount you register a minimum um, a 20 million share capital at CSC, it's totally different from the amount you use in registering 1 million share capital. So these are all the things that actually define a share capital. You should know that there is issued share capital and unissued share capital. Now in Nigeria, by 31st December, there will be no authorized unissued share capital. Again, all the capital, all the share capital in the company must be issued. On or before 31st of December 2022, and I've been trying to pass that information out so that any company that has unissued share capital can actually quickly either issue their share capital out or do a reduction of reduction of share capital. CAC always likes to pan out fine for all this, so please, as much as possible, attend to that if you fall into that category so this is basically what a share capital is and i i got another question of how can i calculate share capital uh, 10 million share capital share capital is being calculated by percentage what the money's worth somebody in the company brings so if i have a brainchild and i have all the business ideas and i have the most money and i bring in one or two partners i can decide that okay fine my share capital in this business is 90 percent i have controlling power i have all the rights to do everything i'm just bringing you as partners so that maybe you're bringing a technological idea with you just to help boost the company and so you're entitled to five percent of the share capital so that is basically the calculation of every share capital is in hundred percent so anyway this is about it for share capital um, my next video, I'm going to be talking about transfer of shares in Nigeria. It is dicey, but I'll try to break it down to you. And as many questions that I can answer, put it across me. I will try to my best possible to answer it at, at my convenience. And then for increase and decrease in share capital, I had a question about that too. I'm going to discuss it so that you understand more. So without much ado, I say if it's the first time you're watching my video, please do not forget to subscribe. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for watching and staying here with me. God bless you.